Hi guys, uh, in this video we are going to work with solving quadratic equation. A quadra what is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is an equation, it's a second degree equation that has uh, two solutions. Whenever you solve the equation, you must always have two solutions. Right, so this is the, 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 the standard form of a quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c equated to zero. So it's a it's a quadratic, right? As MIP fifteen oh two students, it's very important to know how to vectorize, um, how to solve for x, right? So the question requires us to solve for x, right? In your examination, you may find such typical exam question, right? First thing first, when you're solving a quadratic equation, um. You must ensure that you know how to factorize. First thing, know how to factorize. Especially, this is a, tri a trinomial. This is a trinomial. Know how to factorize. Secondly, uh, make x the subject. The subject. Or just equate to zero. Uh, equate, equate to zero when necessarily. Equate to zero lastly um solve for x or make x the subjects yeah so that's what those are the steps that are required here so you must take note of this yes uh factorize uh make or uh, equate to zero then i think the last step will be solve for x yes that's that's the last step solve for x if there's a common factor here there might be common factors there are uh, such equations that uh, that have a common factor so for instance let's say you are given x squared minus 16x equated to zero so such the, 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 there's a highest common factor the highest common factor here it's x so you, you have to factor out by taking out x when you take out x you are left with x because when you say x times x it's x squared Remember, guys, when you say x times x, it's x squared. And x plus x is 2x. Those are like terms, right? So, minus uh, 16 equated to 0. Then you are going to equate everything to 0. x is equal to 0. Or x minus 16 equated to 0. What, what did I do here? First thing, I factorize. Factorize meaning you find the factors that makes this thing. So, to get x squared, we, we need x times x. To get 16x, we need x and negative 16. So, equate it to 0 here. Already, x is the subject, so we already solve here. So, what do we do here? x minus 16, take 16 to the other side, to the right-hand side. When you take negative 16 to the right-hand side, it becomes positive 16. It's the same as saying 0 plus 16, which is 16 there. So, that's the, 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 the uh, that's how you can apply these steps. Let's let's start with a trinomial. Let's start with a trinomial. We're not given a trinomial. And they want you to, 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 to solve this type of quadratic equation. First thing first, let's find the factors of x squared. The, the factors of x squared or the factors that make x squared is x multiplied by x. So first thing, we are going to have two brackets. We are going to have two brackets. So we are going to have x as well as x. Why are the factors that make up uh, uh, 15? Uh, we can think of 5 times 3. Let's think about... Uh, Factors that make up 15, it's 5 times 3. So to get to positive 2, we have to say 5 minus 3. So we are going to get to positive 2. So this is what you should understand. When your last term is negative, your signs will be, there will be opposite signs or different signs. So in this case, uh, 5 will take, the, 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 the since it's a bigger number, it will take the, the positive sign. So it will be 5, then we are going to have minus 3 here, equal to 0. And we know because 5 minus 3, it's 2, it's, it's two and 5 times negative 3, it's negative 15. Second step, you have already factorized here. What's the second step? You can uh, equate to 0. Don't make the subject make, uh, equate to 0. Actually, the, the step should be factorize, equate to 0, and solve for x. That's what uh, the, these steps require. Three step, factorize, equate to 0, and solve for x. So in this case, we are going to say x plus 5 is equals to 0, or x minus 3 is equals to 0. So when you make x the subject here, you're going to take, since x is positive 5, let's take it to the right-hand side, what it, it will be? It will become negative 5. Or, 
since x in this case is negative take it to the right hand side it becomes positive 3 so in this case we are going we're having positive 3 uh, we're having negative 5 so these are our solutions in this case right uh, okay let's go to the second um, second equation we are going to do the same similar thing what are the factors of x squared it's x the factors uh, of x squared is x and x the factors of 15 that uh, that will make also satisfy the middle term think of uh, 5 and 3 again let's think of 5 and 3 again uh, we know that 5 times 3 will give us 15 and we know that 5 plus 3 will give us what 8 so these are the factors we are going to have since everything is positive all your since this sign is positive and the middle sign is positive so all the signs will be positive so we are going to have 5 as well as 3 equated to 0 so let's uh, equate this to 0 5 plus uh, x plus 5 equals to 0 or x plus 3 uh, equated to 0 so in this case when you make x the subject it's going to be negative 5 or when you make x uh, the subject in this case is going to be negative 3 so these are your solution you can take this negative 5 and substitute here you will see you're going to get 0 you can just put uh, open the bracket negative 5 squared plus 8 open the bracket and close negative 5 plus 15 you are going to get 0 so that's how we can solve the second equation right i hope guys you've seen what is happening here first step you factorize uh, I will create a video about factorization where I will talk about factorization uh, of trinomials, right? We are going to talk about five types of factorization. The first video will be uh, factorizing uh, a trinomial. Then the second one will followed by a difference of two squares or we can say uh, we can also focus on highest common factor or grouping. So let's look at this one. This one is quite tedious it's quite tedious tedious or it's challenging let's look at the factors of 2x squared the factors of 2x squared it's x and x but we can see that the factors of 3 does not satisfy 7 because when i'm look when when i can say 3 here what are the factors of 3 it's 3 and 1 can when when we add 3 and 1 can we get 7 no that's highly impossible so we are going to use a method called cross method we're going to use a method called cross method in this case so it's going to be 2x and x so the what are the factors of uh, of um, three it's one and three let's check it's one and three so what are we going to do we are going to say 2x times three that's going to be 6x and one times x is going to be x so let's see 6x plus x that's going to be 7x so these are the correct factors so we are going to say 2x plus a uh, one since the all all uh, the, the the sign of a mid, uh, of a middle term is positive and the sign of a last term is positive a or you will have same sign so it's going to be x plus three equated to zero then you're going to say two x plus one equated to zero equate to zero or x plus three equals to zero then uh, let's make x the subject in this case take one to the other side it becomes negative if it's positive it becomes negative if it's negative it becomes positive then we need to divide both sides by two so in this case we are going to have x negative half let's go to this side take x to the other side since it's positive it's going to be negative three so this is how you can uh, factorize uh, factorize uh, you can i mean you can solve a quadratic equations. This is how you can solve quadratic equations. Yes, hope uh, you are finding these videos useful. MIP 1502 student. I wish you well on your, uh, your, uh, your, your examination on October, November. Hope you will keep winning. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, share the video. Remember, you subscribe once. Thank you in advance. We love you.